We'd like to tell you about a young man called Keith McMillan, who makes video promotions for groups and singers. We filmed him in the chilly surroundings of Wilton's Music Hall in the East End of London. Keith McMillan was working with Kate Bush. He's also worked with Blondie, David Essex, Abba, and countless others. But he and Kate Bush get on particularly well together. When we arrived, Keith McMillan was stringing her up for a new sequence for Wow, a new single. Kate told us how they set to work inventing a new video promotion. Well, normally I, I have a routine that I work out, like I sort of form a character, if you like, for that particular song. And then we'll always get together like a week before we film and just sit and chat and he comes up with ideas and I do. And we just work together and he's, he's just so inspiring. He's great. Yeah. Okay, roll it, Brookie. I started in the business as a photographer and sleeve designer. Uh, I used to, from about 1968, I, I started, I used to photograph and design album sleeve covers and I did that for seven or eight years. I got a bit fed up doing that because I'd done basically over a thousand by then and I was just basically a little bored with it and really thought that the, the up and coming thing was, was film and, and specifically videotape for the music business. Uh, one of my early successes and one I'm quite proud of was uh, one I did for Kate Bush which I'll show you a little of. This was uh, Wuthering Heights. Loved that one, uh, and and so did so did the broadcast companies that were that the record company gave it to. So suddenly, really from that point onward, I would ask I was asked to do more complex and more exciting type of type of tapes. Uh, I think um, that particular tape illustrated that song very well, and and and. People, I think, became aware that, that, um, that you could make the visuals flow with the music and il illustrate the song in a, in a more pictorial way than had been done before. Before it had been fairly straightforward. Well, I started making video promotional films two years ago and up till now I think we've got a, we're nearing our 300th production. Um, I do seem to work very hard at the moment. I've been doing two or three a week. The problem is, as you, as you probably gathered, is, is, is keeping the ideas coming. But in this particular aspect, I'm very lucky because basically I get the ideas from the music itself and from the artist, from the, their performance. Yeah. The lyrics obviously help, but I tend not to be too literal on that. I, I try and just basically get the flavour right. Be quicker than that, actually. <clears throat> yeah, should we try it with the music and I can give you the cue? At the moment, there isn't a, a direct market for these selling to the public uh, in this country. I mean, my, my whole production company is, is geared up to, to providing, the record, providing a service to the record companies to do what we do, make promotional films. In America now, um, they've started marketing the video disc. And the first few video discs that came off, off the production lines in January were immediately snapped up as were all the actual discs themselves. So I think there's, in the future, there's going to be a, a huge market for, for music video discs, where instead of buying a, an ordinary album, you buy your video disc, which gives you better hi-fi, so you've got hi-fi stereo sound with the option of, of, of visuals if you want them. I think they have the most incredible potential, and I think people will buy them, yes. The only thing that I wonder about is um, 
bit boredom because I think when you play a record again and again, if the visuals aren't abstract enough or stunning enough, they could become very tedious. But then again, people can always switch them off. But I, I think it will be very exciting. I think a lot of revolutionary things will come up. shoot videotape rather than film for, for a number of reasons. The Wuthering Heights clip that you saw, we set it up on the Monday morning, we shot it in the afternoon, we edited all night and it was ready for Top of the Pops the next morning. If you'd done that on film, I think probably it would have taken about six months of opticals uh, in, the, in the labs to, to get to that stage. We can actually, on videotape, we can act very fast. The record companies like that because if a record breaks in the charts, they phone me up and say, Keith, we're sending a motorcycle over with this record. Can you do it tomorrow? If I'm free, I say yes. I listen to the music overnight. We set the production up overnight. We do it, we shoot it, we edit it. In 24 hours, you can have a complete finished production. So cool. Stand by lighting. Right. Cue lights. You can come down, lights off, stand by, reset. Brookie, how was that last one? That was fine, that was magic, okay?